What's up, everyone? I just got through two hours of the Inhumans. I didn't know it was going to be two hours, but yes, it was two hours. So basically, the first hour, we get introduced to the Inhumans. Uh, there are these people who have been exposed to these crystals called Detergium Mist, and it exposes their Inhuman powers. And the leader of the Inhumans is Black Bolt. His power is the smallest whisper. He can just like push things, and if he yells, it's just like you know he's he he uses his power very limited. Then we got Medusa, who has the the tentacle hair. Uh, we got Karnak, who's kind of like the Mr. Miyagi character. He can kind of see in his head like how to fight. Before the fight even happens, he's also very knowledgeable. And then we have Gorgon, who has kind of like hoof feet. He's the powerhouse tank of the team. And we have Crystal, who can shoot like light powers from her fingers. And then we have Lockjaw, who's like the big giant bulldog who can teleport. So that that's the first hour. And then we get introduced to the character, uh, the show's uh, villain, who is Maximus. But we don't know he's good. But, but it's just from the look of it. He's from Game of Thrones. He was a total dirtbag on that show. And he's a total dirtbag on this show because he overthrows the Inhumans. And he hunts them down. And Lot Joel transport each of the Inhumans to Earth. Uh, that was basically most of the second hour. Uh, I was rooting for the show hardcore because I, you know, I'm a, I'm a comic book guy. I got comics, you know. I collect comics, so when I heard this show was coming out, I'm like, awesome! Now we got two shows on ABC, uh, comic book wise. Um, I always thought that Agents of Shield kind of suffers from feeling like a comic book show. I think. It just very rarely does it feel like a comic book, and it just kind of feels like because yeah, just none of there's until they had Ghost Rider. I mean that that's what really brought me back to this show, and then he left again, and I kind of left this show. So I'm like, wow, this Inhumans. Most of the characters look like their comic book counterparts, and I was like, yeah, but. That kind of hurts this show because there's only so much you can do before you make the show run up the, the cost of the show. And I think that's why they cut Medusa's hair because they don't want to pay for having her hair squiggle around. So I, I think that's what maybe, I mean, I'm, I'm starting to look back at Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and I actually think that's the better show because they know how to manage their money. And this show looks like uh, it's, it does, it looks like it's, you know, well, I don't, you know, it suffers from the, what I call Fantastic Four itis. Now, Fantastic Four itis is there hasn't been a good Fantastic Four that really gets it. Like, and and this this is sort of like a Fantastic Four type show because um, the Fantastic Four has bumped heads with the Inhumans. Um, they're not really they're more Fantastic Four than Avengers. But um, I was really like bummed out in the first hour because I I thought it really wasn't getting the gist of what I wanted. And I'm a little worried for the show. I'll, I'll give it another chance, but I suffered some very hokey areas of what I was hoping for. You know, the expectation versus reality. Uh, expectation was very high, and reality for me was kind of a, a letdown as a show. It was a little letdown for me. Uh, but... It, oh, you know, it, it makes me look at, you know, shows like Gotham and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., they know how to manage their their 
special effects money, and that's why they last so long. And that's what bothers me because when shows go all out to give you um, special effects, it, 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 if it doesn't, it's if it's not successful, they gotta shut the show down. If Gotham has a bad season, that's a rape because they're, or Arrow or, or Supergirl, all their shows are filmed in Canada, and, and they could save money that way. So I don't know. I was a little let down, to be honest with you, with this first episode. Uh, I'll give it another shot. Um, if I had to pick my favorite character, it would be to watch all. <laughs> but um, I thought Crystal was cool. Karnak was alright. He was like a Star Trek character, to be honest with you. And Black Bolt was okay. Um, yeah, that's another problem. Like, there was no standout favorite character for me. Uh, because I feel like we've seen characters like this in other shows that were done better. I think we've seen, like, Kung Fu guys done better in different shows. We've seen, like, the token black guy with big strength done so many times before. Um, I'm going to give it one more Friday night, and... Hopefully, the show can rebound. But, um, yeah, it, just, it, it makes me wish I, I, I'd been watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. But, um, if you saw it and you liked it, let me know um, your expectations versus reality. If you went in with low expectations and came out liking it a hell of a lot. That might happen too. So uh, let me know. Like and subscribe. See you next time. On the roofs. If you get a chance, check out my Cinema Outlaws reviews. I review horror movies and all right. So on. Good night.